let's see if we can calculate the volume of this rectangular prism, or I guess you think this thing that's the shape of a brick or a fish tank right over here. And what's interesting is now that the dimensions are actually fractions. We have a width, or we, I guess, yeah, we could call this the width. The width here is three-fifths of a unit. The length here is one and one-sixth units. And the height here is three-sevenths of a unit. So I encourage you to pause this video and try to figure out the volume of this figure on your own before we work through it together. So there's a couple of ways to think about it. One way to think about it is you're trying to pack unit cubes in here. And one way to think about how many unit cubes could fit in here is to think about the area, is to think about the area of this base right over here. So sometimes you'll see volume is equal to the area of the base times the height, times the height. This right over here is the height. And let me make it clear, this is the area of the base. Area of the base times the height. Well, what's the area of the base? Well, the area of the base is the same thing as the length times the width. So you might see it written like that. You might see it written as area of base is going to be your, is going to be your length times your width. Times your width. Width. <laughs> length times width is the same thing as your area of the base. So that's that right over there. And of course, you still have to multiply times the height. Or another way of thinking about it, you're going to multiply your length times your width times your height. You're going to multiply the three dimensions of this thing to figure out how many unit cubes could fit in into it, to figure out the volume. So let's calculate it. The volume here is going to be, what's our length? Our length is 1 and 1 sixth units. Now, when I multiply fractions, as I'm about to do, I don't like to multiply mixed numbers. I like to write them as improper fractions. So let me convert 1 and 1 sixth to an improper fraction. So 1 is the same thing as 6 sixths, plus 1 is 7 sixths. So this is going to be 7 over 6, that's my length, times 3 fifths, that's my width. So times 3 fifths, times the height, which is 3 sevenths times the height, which is 3 sevenths. And we know when we multiply fractions, we can multiply the numerators. So it's going to be 7 times 3 times 3 times 3. And the denominator, we can just multiply the denominators. So it's going to be 6 times 5, 6 times 5 times 7, times 7. Now we could just multiply these out, but just to try to get a, an answer that has a slightly lower, that has as a, a simplified as I can make it, let me, we see we have a seven in the numerator and a seven in the denominator. So let's divide the numerator and the denominator by seven. So let's divide the numerator and the denominator by seven. And what that does is that becomes one, and those become one. And we also see both the numerator and the denominator has Three, they're both divisible by three. We see a three up here, we see a three over here. So let's divide both the numerator and the denominator by three. So we divide by three, divide by three. Three divided by three is one. Six divided by three is going to be equal to two. So in our numerator, what are we left with? This is going to be equal to, or we're just left with that green three. It's going to be equal to three over 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 5 right over here. So it's going to, the volume over here is 3 tenths units cubed. Or we could fit 3 tenths of a unit cube inside of this brick or this fish tank or whatever you want to call it.